Here I'm going to show you how to add a simple checkbox control to your worksheet and then have formulas work based off of that checkbox control. So here it is. We can uncheck it and this says off, check it, and we get on. And you can also click the text and it works just the same. And this is just a regular formula. So that allows you to have this checkbox control any number of or all of the formulas within the worksheet. So you can have a setting that switches something on or off. It's a really nice little feature. Now I'm going to clear this out and show you how to make it. The first thing is to go to the Developer tab. If you don't have that, just right click up here, go to Customize the Ribbon, and in the right put a check mark next to Developer, and hit OK. Once you're here, go to Insert and Form Controls. Click the checkbox and draw your checkbox. And to edit the text, right click, edit text, and we can delete everything else that's in here and put in some text or whatever you want. Then right click it and go to Format Control. And on the Control tab in Cell Link, click in here and select a cell in the worksheet. Hit OK. Now let's click away, and when we click the checkbox, we get a true or a false. So true if it's checked, and false if it is unchecked. And then you just make a formula that works off of that. So if, and this, so if a1, it returns true or false, so we don't have to check if it is true or false. Then we can just say on, or off, or whatever you want here. This is just a very simple example to show you how it works. And there are many, many ways to now hide this cell. So we can click it and make the text the same color as the background. Or you can just hide the column so it's no longer visible. And then you have a nice, neat little trick with a checkbox in the worksheet. And I have another tutorial that shows you how to put check marks within actual cells. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. But this one, it's a little bit different and it can come in handy depending on what you need to do in the worksheet.